story of the last sort of three days, I suppose, of her life, Mary's life, of um, when she tried to get Elizabeth. She notoriously, Mary notoriously wrote many, many letters to Elizabeth to try and get her to meet her, and they never met. And at one point, they passed within about a mile of each other. And Schiller wrote the play, What Would Have Happened If They Had Met. These two women have been coupled together for most of their lives in some way. Their destinies have been moving together through historical forces. Catholic on the one hand, Protestant on the other. Legitimate claim to the throne, some think, for the Catholic. Legitimate th claim to the throne, some think, for the Protestant. So history's made them into enemies, whether or not they'd have been pals or not. It's, it's everything that could happen between people who could perhaps actually get together and instead it goes wrong. I mean on a cosmic scale it goes wrong on a giant scale, but it's the play itself makes it so human, which is why it's not just a political thriller. It's a play about um, sort of the kind of moral climate that governments operate in and um, what price are you prepared to pay for security um, of your nation. Once it sets itself up, it, 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 it goes and it goes and you, you see politics that are practiced in as ruthless a fashion as they ever have been in our history. So I think it's great. It's a clash. It's pretty good stuff. I mean, I wish, I wish we were more sisterly and sweet to one another, but I can understand both of their points of view and you don't, the audience shouldn't judge in a way. They shouldn't go, oh, she's the nice guy and she's the nasty guy or, you know, they should, it's, it's, the, the in, it's the intellectual political arguments that get everybody going. It's just such a treat to see, you know, to find a play with two great, two really balanced roles for women over 40. Um, you know, and they're at the age where they just have, um, they've got all the arsenal, all the equipment, um, and you need what we call in England big hitters for this play, and they both really are. It's amazing being in between those two uh, great queens and extraordinary actresses. I feel so uh, lucky to be able to get to do this with them. They're stunning. They're stunning and wonderful to be with. I mean, they're such pals, you know, with, to, they've made, they came into the company, they'd done it before, and you would never know it. You would never think that, that they'd, uh, they, they're starting from scratch, just as the rest of us are, and, and it's, and they're fun and nice and chummy, and it's wonderful. It's very unusual as a, as a female leading player that you're ever put against another female leading player. And it's, it's such a kick. I, I really do think that it's, it's a great way to get to go back to school, the best way, because, you know, in school, when this history was being taught, I was, you know, gazing out the window, thinking of coming to New York and being an actor. I didn't want to learn about Elizabethan history. So you really get to open your mind up, back up to uh, things that you might have forgotten, or you learn more, and you learn it in a completely wonderful, intimate, hands-on kind of way. God, I'm so excited. I'm quite nervous. I, say, I use the word quite. <laughs> I'm very nervous, or I'll be even more nervous in about two weeks' time when I actually have to go and stand in front of an audience. But I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it.